Okay, uh, so this one's not so bad. What we want to do with this is, you know, make sure that we want to see, first of all, if we can factor it. You know, um, besides that, we could look at graphing or using thin synthetic division and so forth. But I want to see is this factorable. And I could show you the substitute the method, method, but hopefully you guys can see that if I'm going to factor this, um, since this is a trinomial, I'm going to have two factors that, of course, are going to have x squared times x squared gives me x to the fourth. My middle terms will add to x squared. So this is the same thing like a regular quadratic, except we just have it to a power of four. Uh, so then I look, what two numbers multiply to give me 9, but then add to give me 10? And quickly we can see that this becomes x plus 9, and then x plus 10 does not work. How about x plus 1? So therefore you multiply this, 9 times 1 is 9, you, know, you do your middle terms, you get 10x squared, very good. So it says find the zeros of the polynomial function. So if f of x equals 0, to find the zeros we're going to set this equal to 0. x squared plus 9 times x squared plus 1 equals 0. Using the zero product property, zero equals x squared plus nine, and zero equals x squared plus one. Now what I'll do is I'll solve for x squared, and what I get when I subtract nine you know, on both sides, subtract one on both sides, I get x squared equals negative nine, and x squared equals negative one. I'll take the square root of both sides. I cannot take the square root of a negative number, so that knows I'm gonna get an i, so I'll have x equals plus or minus 3i, and x equals plus or minus i. So therefore, all the zeros of my polynomial are going to be x equals plus or minus 3 and plus or minus i. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you factor and find all the zeros of a polynomial.